In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to upload your entire music library that you own to Google Play Music so that you can access it from the Google Play Music app on your phone or even listen to the music on your Google Home or Google Home Hub. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now, the very first thing that we need to do to upload our music to Google Play is to actually have music or mp3 files downloaded to our computer. Now you do need to make sure that you have a legal copy that you have purchased. So maybe you have existing CDs that you wanna use, you can actually um, rip those to your computer so that you would be able to upload those. Or maybe you've used such things as iTunes to purchase music in the past. You can actually download that music to your computer and then upload it through Google Play. So let's first go to that first example of iTunes. So here I just need to open iTunes and go to the music tab right here. So there's a bunch of different tabs, just select music. And then here you have library and it's showing you all the music that you have in your library here. A lot of this is on the cloud. You can see that it has this little icon and I can just select that and it will download it right to my computer. You can also just head over here to the store and then you can go down on the right side and select purchased. And this will show you all the music that you have purchased. You can even select other people in your family um, if you have that set up and you can download their music as well. So here, if I wanna download any of this music, I would just select the cloud download icon and then it will download into my music library. So I have some music available to upload. Now, depending on what service you have purchased your music from before, it may be a little bit different. If you're using a streaming service like Spotify, you aren't able to download the actual MP3 file because those music services, you haven't actually purchased the music. So make sure that you go to something like Google Play Music or Amazon Music, iTunes, all of those have the actual songs that you can download in an MP3 file to be able to upload those. So now the next step is to find the music on your computer. So if we just open the file browser here, I'm going to go into the music folder and here I have a bunch of different folders. So right here, iTunes, this was just created when I downloaded that iTunes music. So I open iTunes, iTunes media, music, and here I have the two songs that I downloaded and you can open it up and there you can see this is an M4A file. And if I go back, there is the other file. Now I've also downloaded some other music that I wanna upload as well, right here in my new jams folder. So I wanna upload this and put it into a new playlist. So now that I have the songs imported into my computer and I know where they are in the music folder, we are ready to upload this to Google Play Music. Next, you're gonna head into your web browser and in Google, just search for Google Play Music Uploader. And the first result here is Google Play Music Support. And here you have Music Manager Download Page. Now you do have to have a computer to be able to do this. Um, you can't do this from your phone um, or tablet or anything. So here we're gonna select Music Manager Download. It's gonna take us into the Google Play Music. Here it says we can upload 100,000 songs in Google Play for free. We can add your collection of music from iTunes, Windows Media, player folders, and then listen on the web or mobile phones. And so here I'm gonna select Download Music Manager. So I'm going to download that, and then I will just need to install that. Now previously I've shown how you can upload to Google Play Music right from the web browser, but that's great if you're only doing a few songs. If you wanna upload your entire music library, definitely download the Google Play Music Manager. So now that it has finished installing, it says Music Manager helps you add your existing music collection to your Google Play library. Your collection will be available um, on, it doesn't say anything else there. But anyway, it will be available on your computer as well as other uh, mobile devices. So we're gonna select Next here and then you need to sign into your Google account. Now make sure that when you sign into this, you are signing into the proper account that you want all your music on. You are only able to log in one or two times on your computer. You can't be adding a bunch of different accounts and uploading to those. So this is their way of preventing that from happening. So make sure you're signed into the right account. Now that I have successfully logged in, it's giving me two options, upload songs to Google Play, or download songs from Google Play to my computer. So if I wanna upload my existing library that I've already uploaded, I can do that. But here we're gonna upload songs to Google Play. 
Select next, and then it is asking what songs we want to upload from. So if we wanna upload our iTunes folder, we can do that. Windows Media Player, My Music Folders, or Other Folders. So we're gonna select Other Folders, and I'm specifically gonna choose my new Jams folder. So here it automatically opened up my Music Folder, and here I'm just gonna select New Jams, so it's only uploading those songs. So I'm gonna select that folder, and then hit Next, and then here it's asking if I picked the right location. If not, I can go back and do that. And I've already done this before and it's saying that I still have 92,191 songs that I could upload to my Google Play Music library. So I'm just going to select next. Um, I don't know why nothing's showing up there, but then we hit yes, next, and now it is preparing to add my music to my Google Play library. Now it has finished uploading my music and it says you can start listening while Music Manager continues to add songs to your library. If you have a large collection, this may take some time to complete. If you shut down your computer before the process is done, it will start again whenever your computer is on. I do wanna add that if you add any new songs into those folders that are going to be uploaded, they will automatically appear in your Google Play Music library. So now I can select go to music player. So that's going to open up my web browser and take me right into the Google Play Music library that I have. So to find the new music, if this is your first time, you just select music library and that new music would be right here and then you can open it up, listen to it and uh, add it to different albums or whatever. But um, since I already have a ton of music in here, I'm just going to search for the new songs I added. So here I added a new song called BBQ I hit search and then it's gonna pull up all the music in my library with that name or it's even gonna search um, Google Play Music if you have a subscription. So right here, Summer BBQ Funk Paula Instrumental MP3. That's one of the songs I just uploaded. So right here, I can select Menu and then I can select Add to Playlist. And so I can create a new playlist and we're gonna call it New Jams. Select Create Playlist. If I wanna edit the name of the song, I can select Menu and then Edit Info. And then here I get the option to edit the name of the song. So let's just call it Summer BBQ. I can put in any info here that did not populate. So the album, the year. To upload the album artwork, you just need to select this little upload icon. And then you come and find the .png file that you wanna upload. Select open, it will then upload it right there. I hit save, and then if I refresh the page, here you can see that it has added that logo to this song, and then it will also make that the playlist artwork. And then this will show up for the album as well if you just add it to one of the songs in that album. And then I can select save, and now I have that added. So now let's go and look for another song. So I have one called Comfort. So right here you can see the little pictures are not on some of the albums. That is the one that I have recently uploaded. So I'm gonna select menu and then I'm going to select add to playlist, new jams. And I'm gonna keep doing this for all the music I added. Now the benefit of adding it to a playlist is it makes it really easy to play this on the Google Home. So now that I have all that music in one album, I can open up that album, see it all right here, um, and then play it right here for my computer. So the next step is I can actually play this from my Google Home right now. So all you need to do is make sure that your account is linked to your Google Home, and then you just ask it to play my playlist and the playlist name. Hey Google. Play my new jams playlist. Okay, playing your Google Play Music playlist called New Jams. That's the exact first song that I have in my playlist. So if I want to reorganize this playlist, I just drag a song and I can drop it to the bottom or I can move it up. So let me play this so you can hear that that was the correct song. So there you go, whatever I do here in the playlist will show up on my Google Home playlist. So let's say I wanna edit an album and the metadata of uh, certain files all at once. So is what I'm gonna do is head to my music library and then up here at the top, you can do stations, artists, albums, songs, genres. So if I select albums, 
Um, let's just take this Adele album for example. I can select menu and I can edit the album info. So right here, it's gonna adjust all the songs in that album at once. So here I have the artist name, the album, I could change the composer year and uh, the amount of tracks right there. Now, if I open up Adele, it's gonna show all the songs um, by her. And then I can also go in here and edit individual songs. So you do have to play with it a little bit to get them all to sort in different albums. But the benefit of that is you'll be able to easily find them on the Google Play Music app um, from your phone. And that is available on iOS or Android. So once you upload your music, you just download that app and you can talk to your Google Assistant to play that music at any time. So let me show you how that looks on the Google Play Music app. So I just open up the Google Play Music app, select menu, and then here I can select music library. And at the top I have playlists. And then here I can go down and find my new jams playlist. So there's the new jams, I select play. And it is the same that I have on my computer and on the Google Home. And that is how you upload your entire music library to Google Play Music so that you can access it on the web, on your mobile device, or on your Google Home. Now, if you have any further questions about this process, please let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna see how to link your other music services to your Google Home, make sure you select the video over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.